Hi, welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into dental drills, which are one of the most important instruments used by a dentist. Let's look into where it all began. The first clockwork drill, Arado, was invented by British dentist George Fellows Harrington in 1864. After winding, it ran when wound up for two minutes. This was the first time continuous rotation was possible for a drill. The following year, he introduced interchangeable heads and contra angles. Made of silver and richly covered in engraving, this heavy handheld drill resembled a musical box in appearance. During application, it was very noisy. Its popularity was limited with patients and dentists who had awkward control of the instrument. Its already limited appeal was short-lived as in 1872, the foot engine was developed, the forerunner of the modern electric drill. Dentistry was revolutionized by American dentist James B. Morrison's 1829 to 1917 invention. His foot-operated machine worked on the same principle as the treadle sewing machine and achieved 2,000 revolutions per minute, thus making efficient removal of decay possible. The first electric dental drill was patented in 1875 by Dr. Green, and by 1914, electric dental drills could reach speeds of up to 3,000 RPM. A second wave of rapid development occurred in the 1950s and 1960s, including the development of the air turbine drill. So how does the dental drill work? There are two kinds of dental drills most commonly used, electric and turbine powered. The turbine powered drills are the fastest out there. They used compressed air to rotate the drill head, known as a burr, over 180,000 revolutions per minute. That's super fast, and it's the reason why these types of hand pieces are known as high-speed drills. The torque of the burr used can vary since the speed gets to be so high, and since the turbine rotates the burr so quickly, it often requires the use of built-in water jets to keep it cool. As for the in-hand feeling of the drill, it's pretty evenly weighted throughout the body. Some dentists really prefer the feeling of evenly distributed weight in their hands, considering how much power this handpiece packs, it is often used in dental practices all over. The other type of dental drill, the electric drill, is not quite as powerful, but still works great and has its own benefits. The electric dental drill, also known as an increasing speed drill, is powered by an electric motor called a micromotor. Inside the handpiece are internal gearings which allow the friction grip burr to rotate at a constant speed, independent of torque. This means the power is provided by the internal motor and the gears inside. As far as how it feels in the hand, the end of the drill with the motor it tends to be a bit heavier. Some dentists prefer this feeling. Some prefer the more evenly distributed feel of the turbine-powered drill. The drill also doesn't get as hot as the turbine-powered drill, lessening the amount of extra gadgets required to use it. So how does an air turbine-based dental drill work? Dental hand pieces consist of a handle, or housing, with a small head that accommodates a dental burr, used to perform various treatment and maintenance procedures on a patient's teeth. Inside the handle are the many components that make the burr spin, and the components are powered by either compressed air or electricity. Air-driven dental hand pieces contain an air turbine in the head. When compressed air delivered through a tube is forced through the blades of the turbine, the movement of the turbine converts that air pressure into the rotational force that makes the chuck, which holds the cutting burr, spin. The average lifespan of a handpiece turbine ranges from 6 to 12 months depending on the level of use and maintenance procedures. The most common cause of premature failures is infield conditions. Let's understand how an electric-based dental drill works. An electric dental handpiece, also called a variable speed handpiece, they're powered by an electrical console with a touchscreen for controlling various aspects of the handpiece attachments. This console, or control unit, can be portable or mounted to a dental delivery system. The rest of the unit consists of a brushless motor, which receives power from the console through flexible tubing and handpiece attachments that achieve different speeds through their internal gear design. The motor has a gear, called the drive gear, that runs at 100 to 40,000 RPM. The various handpiece attachments all have a gear as well, called the chuck gear, which is powered by the drive gear. The size of the chuck gear relative to the size of the drive gear is what determines the rotational speed of the cutting burr. High-speed attachments have a chuck gear five times smaller than the drive gear. Slow-speed handpieces have chuck gears that are larger than the drive gear, which decreases the speed of the burr. There are handpieces with ratios of 5 to 1, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, and even 20 to 1, each with a speed that is ideal for dental procedures where more torque is required, such as endodontic and surgical procedures. This was the simplified video on dental drills. I hope you guys loved the information. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below.